Uh, hello, I want to do a, a vlog. It could be a fairly long one and could be a bit rambling because um, I probably didn't sleep that much last night and so when I don't sleep that much sometimes I ramble a little bit and sentences are hard to form. <laughs> but hopefully I'll be alright. Um, basically the setting up is basically there's this musical um, coming to Melbourne about to open very soon called The Book of Mormon. I've heard about it from a few years, like people raving about it, but I never really knew what it's about. I still don't know what it's about, um, but I know that people love it who have who've seen it. Um, <clears throat> and what happened was on Facebook, someone, Fiona actually uh, tagged a few of us and, and let me know that um, they're doing this thing where for uh, one of the preview shows, just before it opens, um, they're selling tickets for $20. And that's like really, really cheap. For a musical like normally they're like 120 to 150 or maybe more um, for a ticket and so $20 is ridiculously cheap because but the catch is they're opening the box office at at Sp Spring Street the Princess Theatre in Spring Street at um, 10 o'clock on Monday the 9th and, and you can't buy them online you have to be there in person to buy it and also you can only buy two per person and so it's basically you got to line up and if you line up you're going to get a ticket for twenty dollars which is pretty amazing thankfully um i'm not i'm on annual leave at the moment from work uh, normally i work on monday so i would have missed out if i had not been on annual leave but i am on annual leave so i decided um actually and the thing is i initially was like oh damn it it's on the same day as i'm going to the tennis with susie uh, one of my friends we've planned this tennis day for so long like since last year because we had a good time because we went the year before like 2016 and so it fell on the same day and I'm like oh that's a shame but then luckily um Susie's a massive musical fan and she's got friends that are into musicals and they're all talking about it and they're going to get her a ticket to go and she's like oh you know uh, she's going to try to do both and when she said that I was like oh cool we can do both like so we can do the tennis and the book of Mormon. so that made me like okay I can try to get a ticket as well and so my plan was um basically um uh to line up, get a ticket, because you get two, so hopefully I could either get a ticket for me and Susie, but, but if her friends are going to get her a ticket, then I'll get my sister, bring my sister along. That's if I get a ticket. And also, um, the cool thing was, because I don't know anything about the Book of Mormon, um, I'm not like super, super crazy fussed if I get a ticket or not. It's not like if it was a Lindsay Sterling concert or something like that, where I'd be like, I need to go. You know, it's like, um, yeah, I was kind of going for the experience of it almost and so um, I think uh, Emily one of her Susie's friend Emily was talking between other people and she said oh she's gonna try to get there early like maybe eight o'clock I'm like oh I was thinking um I think that's all right I could do that but um I actually thought to myself um, I've been to the city at six I got to the city at 6 a.m. or earlier than 6 a.m. because Amanda and I once went to this croissant place in um uh, in the city somewhere um, and for croissants and we were there like really early like I, I, got, I woke up at four o'clock or something and it got yeah it was crazy so I knew I could get up early if I, I mean I wasn't 100% sure but then um uh so then the, th the big moment was when um Emily was saying so who's gonna be there tomorrow morning and then so I was like oh I'll, I'll be there you know and I wrote I'll be there like and so like okay I gotta get up early tomorrow but and my, my plan was like um 8 a.m. at the latest like that was my plan but then I think the night before I happened to see either Tim or someone else post or Cameron or someone post on Facebook that people were already lining up for it the night before like people were there like last night and they went sleep over and then I was thinking to myself whoa so people started to line up already like in my head I was thinking if I before this I thought if I caught the first train in I'll like be there pretty early but no people were there like last night so I was thinking okay so that means I'm gonna have to really catch the first train in and see if I if that's gonna be good enough hopefully and I was thinking yeah that should be fine like I thought maybe there might be like 10 20 people who were willing to sleep over sleep little did I know um, so and it was funny like I slept last night about 1 1 30 and so that only left me like and I, w I set my alarm for 3 50 in the morning so I didn't sleep that much but I was like that's it I'm, that's my thing I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning so uh, the alarm went off and I got up just stood there for a while <laughs> just trying to stay awake and then I, I had a shower and just didn't have breakfast I don't think I had breakfast and I just went drove to the station left my car there and then took the um 
got the very first train from Spring Rail, which was at 4.45 or something like that. And I got there like with 20 minutes to spare. Um, and so I was there for the first train of the morning, which was, I was pretty happy with. Got there, um, got off the parliament, walked to the theatre, and all of a sudden there was people there already. And then they were, the guys at the front were saying, yeah, the line goes around really far down the road. Like, it's really far. I was like, what? And so I was walking around the corner and just walking in and you see all these people with their beds and chairs and blankets and stuff all like along the side of the alleyway. I think it was like Little Burke Street. I don't know which street it was. Just all along there on the side. And it went for ages and it just kept going and going. like, And then right to the front, like a whole block, that's how long it was. Like from spring street all the way to is it exhibition street i think it is the next one so all along the side of that road this is at 5 30 in the morning so and then i stood in line i was like good oh i'll show you a photo <laughs> and it's just these moments where i'm thinking this is fun like it's just very different to it's just out of the ordinary for me like so that's the side of us there's this building there and there's people sitting there someone with their laptop it was really dark so the sun was not out yet and um, people were just sitting there and it was kind of exciting for me like the whole experience was like um, just oh at the whole at this point I was happy just to experience this lining up and then Emily said um, a whole bunch of them were gonna meet up afterwards uh, if whether or not they get tickets and just have like brunch at um, in Melbourne Central or something like that and I thought oh, that'll be fun too but uh, so we waited and um, so I started I decided um, that uh, I would because I'm going to be there from 5.30 to like 10 o'clock. That's when it start, they start opening. So that's like a good four or five hours. I thought, I'm going to read War and Peace because I've got War and Peace. That's my current book I'm reading very, very, very slowly because I always do other things. But it was on my phone and so I was reading it. Um, the P and V's translation, by the way, because there's different translations. I love the P and V translation. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I read like five chapters or something like that. I got through about five. Well, they're very short chapters, but I really loved it. I was, I, what I would do is I'd read a chapter and then take a break to look around for a bit and then read again. And it was like a cycle. And what was really cool was um, <laughs> when I started reading it, um, the, the app which I was using was iBooks. It was in night mode, like the screen was black. And then next thing you know, later on it turned white. So And then the sun came up. And so it was like, I was, I don't know, it was just a funny experience. Like 5.30 in the morning, why, I mean, can you imagine, like, I, it's hard for me to imagine being in the city at 5.30 in the morning. Like, already in the city at 5.30. Ah, oh, it's crazy. The things you do, like, it was just really funny. And, like, I, I, like I posted on Facebook about it. It was, like, a bucket list item for me, like, to line up a long time for something. Like, um, I've already done it with Hamish Andy. Like, that was my longest, like, four and a half hours for me to meet Hamish and Andy. But, um, just, you know how you always hear about these things like Star Wars, people are lining around the block for tickets and things like that and I just think that's so cool and now I'm a part of it this time, you know, because um, this was a massive crazy line. It was really massive and um, just I was sitting there the whole time and and you, you just hear like as time went on people would go past and have like stories about how far it went like apparently the line went right, right around the entire block like boom, 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 boom. like that's how long it was like um, and I think, um, yeah, it was crazy, like, um, I don't know how, I think if we had actually come at 8 o'clock, it would have been too late to actually get tickets even, because, um, yeah, it was crazy. It was just, um, very interesting, and, and the whole time, like, I was either, and also what I really loved was having my music, because on my, um, phone plan at the moment, I get, like, listening to, like, Google Play, it doesn't use my data, so I could just listen to it as much as I wanted, and Spotify. And so I was listening on my headphones as well, and that got me through a lot of it actually, <laughs> like just kind of just, um, yeah. And so it was really fun, and just it was really chilled out, relaxed group of people to be around as well. Everyone was really calm, <laughs> no one was like, really impatient at all. Like it was really, really awesome group of people to be in line with. Like everyone was just like all in order, and I loved it. And the cool thing was, suddenly they came, the pre people from the show, the, the Book of Mormon, came back, came down and were giving out donuts to everybody. Like, they had so many donuts, just giving them to people. And they were going, it's from the producers of the show. How awesome is that? Like, here's a picture of um, one of the guys. He's going around giving donuts to people. Krispy Kreme donuts, I think it was. Is it? Yeah, Krispy Kreme. So they were yummy. And so I got one. I love free food. And it was so good. 
and I just love the gesture. And also coffee, they went around with coffee as well. So I got some coffee, obviously I got some coffee. But oh, can I just quickly before I forget, the biggest tip that I have for, that I was so happy that I did, was I said to myself going in, it's going to be a long many hours being in line, don't drink too much water, don't drink any water if in fact. I'll show you my bottle of water. <laughs> There's my bottle of water. I filled it up in the morning and that's how much I drank. <laughs> Just one or two sips, that was it. That was the best move of the day. Like imagine being in line for that long and you need to go to a toilet, that would be a nightmare because it, it, things like that just get harder and harder. <laughs> so I was really good with that. I'm so glad I decided to do that. Thank you, Past Twin. You did a very good decision there. I thank you very much. You're very important. That was like the key decision of the day. Had anything else gone wrong, that was the one. I mean. If anything to do, that was the one to do, I reckon. Um, so I really wasn't busting to go to the toilet at all, which is, yes! Because <laughs> I know how bad it is to, to want to go, like, and you're in line, like, I mean, I'm sure the people that I was around with, they would have been okay with me going to get a toilet, but I didn't actually go, I just stayed in line the whole time. Uh, it was really cool. Emily uh, messaged and said she, um, because she, actually, um, when I messaged her at 5.30, she actually messaged back, so I think she was already baking that early. But she didn't leave her house till later because um, she didn't want to walk through the park in the dark, which makes complete sense. Um, and so she made um, this is really cool. She made this for us, all of all of her friends that were in line. She made cupcakes, delicious, and gingerbread men. But they are Mormons, gingerbread Mormons. <laughs> it's so cool, and they're like I think like, they're holding a book or something. I'm not sure. Um, and so she, and then she, she gave it to everyone and she had, she, and then she found me, she messaged me going, where are you? She wrote in capital letters and I told her where I was and then, you know, later on she came by and, and, and she chatted and, and then I got that off her, it was like awesome. She was keeping us people in line, um, energized. <laughs> it was really, really good. Like when you're sitting there for hours, stuff like that is really, really big and it actually tasted really good. Like the gingerbread Mormons that she made was so soft and everything. So good. Um, what else to say? It was really cool. Like um, the people and, the, and and one of the other guys in front of us, he he had some chewing gum and he just like offered the whole packet to, like he just offered all of it to everyone else in line. Like you really bond with the people you're in line with. Um, that's the chewing gum I got. If you, I take a photo of everything. Um, so yeah, it was really exciting. Um, once ten o'clock came and a little bit after ten o'clock, maybe ten thirty, the line started moving. But it actually took a while, like it wasn't really, I, I, in my head I imagine like once 10, 30, 10 o'clock came we would steadily move through, but actually they only have two um, cash registers at the, uh, the box office, so it took actually quite a while. Like I only reached, I got my ticket at 1.40 in the afternoon. So from 10 o'clock there was an extra three hours. <laughs> Which I did not expect. But the cool thing is once 10 o'clock came and you started moving a bit, it kind of made feel less like, it was like a, you know, like you're almost there, so you're just waiting a bit longer wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, so when, when you, it's like funny when you um, put it as saying, oh, and then actually when I was calculating how long I actually took, when I fit, got my ticket, <gasps> by the way, I'll show you my ticket. Am I up to this part of the story? I'll just show you to you anyway. <laughs> There's my tickets. <laughs> Uh, um, Emily posted a picture that is so fitting, so, so fitting, I have to show you guys, because <laughs> there's a bunch of, I think she had eight friends all together, about eight friends who um, went and lined up to get these tickets, and like we all, see, it felt like we all went through it together, um, let me try to find it, the best, uh, <laughs> this is the one, it's Chris Traeger from Parks and Rec, and he's got like a participant Thing. That's how it feels, and that's really how I felt like when I finished it. And she was like, "That's us," you know, when we got our ticket. Um, because when I calculate, when I finished it, when I calculated, I was like, I thought in my head, I thought maybe it's seven hours, but then I calculated from five, waiting from five thirty to one forty. I calculated, it's like I counted it twice to make sure it's eight hours. So that's quite a long time to wait in line. Like, if you told me I would would have had to wait eight hours, I was I'll, maybe I'll be like, I'm not sure if I can do that. Like I've never done that before, but when you're there, it's not so bad because you're actually already there in unit, which I found like a philosophical thing. It's like sometimes some task, this is me drawing um, philosoph 
in like I don't know what you call them. In what do you call that thing when you get this suddenly like, ah oh, aha moments? <laughs> um, basically, I had this a few. <laughs> you know, when you're alive for that long, I had all these thoughts actually. Um, one was like um, sometimes a task seems really daunting. There's a lot of work, but actually when you're there. It's not so bad because you're in it and you're just doing one thing at a time. And basically what I was doing is waiting and like listening to music, <laughs> looking around. <laughs> That's not too hard to do actually. But actually when you step back and think, oh wow, that was quite long. Um, but yeah, that's one thing. Like so, and like some tasks seem really daunting, but when you do it, it's not so bad if you're actually in it. And another thing is like getting up early and doing it. Like, like I, you know, I'm on holidays at the moment, so I normally don't wake up. Uh, that early. I don't normally wake up at 3.50 in the morning, but I did wake up at 3.50 today and I got something achieved. Like, I feel really achieved. Like, I feel like that was time well spent and I did something, you know. I'm really proud of myself. I think that's the feeling that we all get from doing this, from getting this ticket. Like, you feel really proud. Like, I saw um two girls that came out just before me. They came out and they high-fived each other. It was the best high-five. I was like, Psh! really good sound as well. <laughs> and I could totally understand how they felt, you know. Like waiting that long and I didn't see anyone complain at all like it was amazing really 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 awesome like really really cool um and yeah it was really fun to get up there and to once I you know got to the building oh another philosophical thing I was talking about like I, I thought, thought about like you know once we got near the building you could see it inside the entrance to the building princess theater and but it actually zigzagged like a shrek line you know like that and so, at one point, we were really close to the door, but it actually meant we had to go like a U shape. So, some like I'm thinking, sometimes you can see your target right there in front of you. Like, it's so close, you can see the in reach, but then there's a whole lot of work to do before you get to the point where you go in. It's kind of like that with some things as well. You know, you have a goal, and you can always, you just, and suddenly you know exactly where you're going, but then you go, ah, oh, gotta do all this stuff. But then, you know what I mean? Like, I have these weird thoughts when I'm like sleep deprived and waiting for eight hours. <laughs> I really like that thought though. It was just like a really physical, visual kind of um, analogy of that kind of thing, which you know, yeah. And oh, uh, cool! I, I I got to know this. Guy. No, I didn't even talk to him that much, but the guy next to me named James. He has his beard, and he was behind me the whole time. And it was so cool. Like we were in line, but the whole time he he. I could just tell, like, he was trying not to overtake me in the line. Like, we were walking, and I was pretty cool. Like, I wasn't caring about who was in here, who, because everyone was there waiting for ages. But, um, right, even right at the end when we were up the, in front of the lady who was saying, okay, um, you guys together? And I go, no, we're separate. And he actually said, ah, oh, he was here first. So all that kind of stuff, like, just really, really, I really found that really, um, cool from that guy. And I, I asked him what his name was, and he said, James. I said to him, and I go, oh, I'll probably see you on the night. And he goes, yeah, I, I really hope, like, because um, we went pretty much the same time, so hopefully his seat's really close to mine, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. But uh, it'd be cool. I'll probably see him, because, yeah, I'll probably see him. Because I saw him for, like, hours today. <laughs> um, yeah, it was really good. I think that's all I want to say. I just had a really good time. And it was really fun. Like, I posted on Facebook before uh, I, I went when I first got to the line and, and people on Facebook were chatting about it and stuff and that kept made it interesting because I was checking Facebook a lot near the end um, and you know like Cam and a Amanda and all these other people were really going oh yeah so cool you got a ticket and stuff like that very happy for you and stuff so it was really really cool like um so I w I wish, I, like I said at the start I I mean if, if I didn't get a, didn't get a ticket I wouldn't have, I would have been upset sad but not too upset I would have just enjoyed the whole experience of the thing but now I have the experience plus the tickets. Ah, yay! So um, it's going to be an awesome day next Tuesday because I'm going to go tennis to Susie and then we're going to go to the Book of Mormon. Ah, it's going to be awesome. I think that's all I want to say. That was hopefully sorry. I'm really sleepy at the moment, but I had to say it because it was a really big moment. That's the longest I've waited in a line for something, I think. It overtook the four and a half hours waiting for Hamish and Annie. <laughs> um... And I think one thing that kind of was kind of good in one way was like, I was just by myself in line like other people I didn't know, so I didn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> like, I think trying to make conversation for eight hours would have been tricky, I think. I would have maybe run out of things to say with some people. <laughs> uh, so it was, that was kind of good in that way. Like, I was just relaxed, just in my own little world. <laughs> it was good. All right, I think that's it. See you guys.